Hello guys and welcome to another Happy Halloween episode. Oh, it's been a long time since we've been back and we've been going. So uh, it's good to be back in the saddle, good to be back making, making things again. And this time I have something that is pretty cool for your Halloween decorations. I've got... That's right guys, we've got a mini fogger that we've built, put together and can throw some massive fog clouds. Woo if, I'm gonna show you how to make this, so if that sounds like something that'd be interesting to you, stay tuned, because it's coming up right here, right now, on MI Spare. So first things first, what we've got is we've got one of these mods, okay, that uh, is like a vapor mod. I don't know, I found this one, got it online, whatever. Some, some of them aren't very uh, expensive, some of them are, so I'd say go with the cheaper ones. This is just one that I found. I just went ahead and bought it. It gave a lot of power, so I didn't know how much it would take to, to make the cloud. So in any case, I may play with others, but this is basically it. First thing we need to do is I've got a squirrel cage fan that I've attached to this, and we need to make this little device right here out of 3D printed material um, to basically we're wanting to force the air through the bottom and out through the top so that way we get this plume of smoke coming out so we have to have something kind of a shroud to direct that so we're gonna I'm gonna show you I'm gonna hit the computer and show you how I designed this real fast and then we'll get into how we constructed this thing all right so to the computer Okay guys, well I have placed our little deal on it. I cleaned out all the, the stuff from the inside there. So all of our support material. It seems that I think it's gonna work. So I got myself a fan here. We're gonna turn it on. Well maybe we're gonna turn it on. There we go. So I got some air blowing. Put some air on it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh yeah, it gets smoky. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this to this so that way uh, that way it, I don't have to hold it together. I've got this uh, more or less attached now and I'm trying to figure out, I've got a boost regulator here so it will take in the three volts from like one of the batteries and change it to the 12 volts that's needed to run the motor. Now, I can always affix this underneath here, but I'm trying to figure out now how I'm gonna get the three volts out of this, and I think I have a way. These are the two plus and minuses that, that are on top of the pack. 
What I'm thinking is I can solder onto that and snake a wire down through the side there. And so I drilled a hole in this hand plate to bring the wires out of. So I think that's what we may try to snake through now. I did get it. So I got the two wires out, got them soldered on. So we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble everything and we should have the, the three, which actually it's not going to be three volts. It'll probably be the six volts. So we may have to adjust again, but I think this will get it. Well guys, ran into another snag. Even though this is perfect, this all uh, closes up like. So what I think I'm ultimately going to have to do now is I may have to drill another hole to get this out of here. So I may have to drill a hole in the side of this. Got the device mounted, uh, tuned it up. So got the wires coming out of it and going through the boost regulator. Got a switch mounted in it so that way I can turn the fan on and off. So if I turn it down, turns the fan on and then, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay guys, so we got it all put together uh, with the fan. Got the fan on there, the regulator, the switch, all of it. And so what I did was I bought some vegetable glycerin. Uh, I got that from like Michael's, pretty much a hobby store or anything. What I did was I mixed about 90% vegetable glycerin and 10% uh, distilled water. So I just did 100 milliliters to make the math easy. So 80 milliliters or 90 milliliters of this and 10 milliliters of water. So that was pretty much it and it works great. So moment of truth, ready? Turn it on. <laughs> and it works great. Yes. So mini fog machine. <laughs> we got to find stuff to like fog with this. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This thing is so much fun. It is fun to play with and smoke things out. So guys, happy Halloween. Hope you guys have a fun and safe Halloween and we will see you in the next video.